Hi, I'm Dave Owens, the Garden Guy. Hey guys, you know it is gonna start getting hot. And one thing you need to do, you need to start thinking about a little bit of shade. In fact, take a look right above us. That's our eastern exposure. And underneath that, lots of potted plants. You know, I use all kinds of stuff for potted plants. I like, well, fairly thick type plants, but you can see everything, some morelia growing in here. I've got a sunflower growing in here. Back here, well, there's some parsley right here. In fact, parsley works out great. It's just a general herb. Now, it'll start dying back as it starts getting hot, but as a filler plant, well, it works out fantastic. Some other things we're doing, some grapes right here. We actually healed these in from, well, some root cuttings that we actually took off our other grapes out there, and we're going to go ahead and later on plant those guys in the fall. Some roses right back there. How do you keep these guys looking good? Well, a couple things you got to keep in mind. One, deep water. In fact, make sure that water penetrates all the way through the bottom of that pot. Two, I like to rake that mulch up right against the pot itself. It helps insulate that pot. You can see these, this mulch. Now this is just indigenous type mulch. This is the stuff that just falls off the trees out there and it works out fantastic. I just kind of pile it up and it helps with that insulating capability. Three, regular fertilization. Now this is a little sprayer picked it up at one of the box stores here in town, and it is a foliar, free, foliar sprayer. Easier for me to say, right? And so what you want to do is you want to spray on your organic fertilizer on top of this late in the morning or early in the evening. And what it does is it actually, well, that fertilizer gets absorbed through the stomata of the leaf surface itself. It knocks off all those insects, and it makes your plant material a lot more heat resistant. How? Well, we're using what we call liquid seaweed right over here. Here it is, excellent stuff, full of all kinds of trace elements, and it helps with different types of pests, especially the spider mites and all those different types of white flies. In fact, it is told, it is actually studied lately that, or through studies, that it actually kills off those types of insects. And then, of course, Regular fertilization is going to go a long way, along with that deep watering, insulating the pot, and the right kind of plant material. A couple other plants, well, some begonias will work out real well. We've got some different types of bamboo palms back here, and there's lots of other things like our Norfolk Island Pines. So if you've got one of these shaded areas, you want to enjoy your garden during the summertime, and you want kind of a raised garden effect, go with some what we call potted plants.